Hi to all my friends, Chris once again, welcome back to your video. This is another request to send for Dave. And the name of this video is a small movie, Junior finds out I'm finds a missing plane. Okay, let's check it out. Alright guys, are you ready to play Hungry Hungry Hippo's launchers? How is this different from normal Hungry Hungry Hippos? Well, Cody, you launch the watermelon into the hippo's mouth. Oh, I'll do this play. Yeah, play. Wait, really? Yeah, we're gonna play. You guys aren't gonna say anything? About what? Well, normally you guys would call my mom a hippo. Whoa, oh. hey, whoa, I would, I would never call your mom <laughs> a fat, ugly hippo. Oh, yeah, you say that all the time. No, I don't. You're the one saying it. Why would you insult your mom like that? Yeah, you only get one mom, dude. Yeah, she gave birth to you. You're sitting here insulting her, calling her a fat, ugly Oh, Junior. Hippo. I didn't say any of those things. It's just you would normally say that. No, I don't have a mom, but if I did have a mom, I'd love her and care about her and never say anything mean about her. Mm -hmm. Respect your parents. Dude. Yeah, respect your mother, Cody. Not cool. Not okay, cool at all. Fine. Let's, let's just play. All right, turn it on. Alright, let's get this in there. Oh my god, what I got one? Oh, Here's like my ring. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, I got another one. Oh, what an idiot. Come on, Cody. Didn't I try it? Hurry up and teach your mom. Oh, there it is. There it is. I knew you guys were just messing with me. You know what? I'm gonna go watch the news. Oh, come on, Cody. Feed your mom to the hungry fat hippo. He just had it this month. Now he's gonna go watch the news. Let's go watch the news with him. I guess. Yeah, I'm so mad. I'm gonna watch the news. No, Cody, don't turn on the news. Nope, it's too late. You done pissed me off. It's news time now. Dude, you already know your mom's a hippo. It's nothing new. Okay, I'm turning up the news louder. Oh, no, Joseph, shut up. Breaking news! In case anyone is still wondering, it's been 10 years since that Malaysian airplane went missing. Since it's been 10 years, they're offering $10 million for anyone who knows where it is. It's been missing for 10 years? 10 years. What? Um, I mean, man, I, I just said good, you know? What? Joseph, do you have beef with a missing plane? I mean, it's been 10 years, like, forget about it, it's over with, fuck it. I, I mean, it's a plane full of people. But, but if it was a plane full of black people, we would have never heard about it. It would have never made the news, dude. Well, yes, it would. I think it's still just a plane full of people. What about a millier or Earhart? They ain't found us. <laughs> well, it was still a really big deal, and this is like 239 Amelia Earhart. Nah, nah, it's not the same, nigga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, why is it taking 10 years? How can they not find it? Well, it could be anywhere in the world. Why don't they just track the airplane? Well, they turned the tracker on. Wait, that sounds intentional. It was. The pilot did it. Well, why don't they just call the pilot and say, where are you at? Because he's missing along with the rest of the plane. Something's up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something's up. Well, yeah, planes don't just disappear. Well, why don't they track his credit card and see what he's buying? Well, because he's dead. No, he's not. What if he's still up in the air flying around laughing at us? The plane would have run out of fuel by now. What if he keeps landing and refueling and taking off before someone catches it? Well, then he wouldn't be missing. I don't know. I think we should go try to find that airplane. Yeah. Okay. What are us three kids going to do that the entire world couldn't do in ten years? Well, you guys have me. And what can you offer that the world can't? My sophisticated thinking brain. I think outside the box. See, you guys are inside the box. I'm outside it. I think shit that people don't even think about thinking. I don't even have a box to think in. Yeah, <laughs> you think differently. Yeah, so I think I know where that airplane is. Like, let, me, let me go grab my crayons and let me draw. Draw? Draw? All right, guys, I'm back. Junior, where the hell were you? It's been over two hours. Well, I had to draw and color my pictures. What the hell is this? So I drew four different scenarios that I think may have happened to Malaysia Airlines. Go on. Okay, so I think the pilot was flying the airplane and said, Man, I hate being a pilot. My dream ever since I was a kid was to drive a submarine. So that he took the submarine. Wind, he went in the water, and now he's driving a submarine. So you think the pilot's been driving a submarine for the last 10 years? Yeah. What about the passengers? Well, they're probably dead. So he's been driving around in a submarine with over 200 dead bodies on board, just rotting? What about the smell? Well, he probably has, like, air pressure. Or he rolls on the window. And the plane would fly. Oh, uh, what an air pressure. Uh, okay, even assuming that's true. Oh, my God, God Junior. It would have run out by now. Planes have oxygen masks, Cody. Uh, and you need oxygen for those. Okay, well then, if they have a dead body with a lung, he probably just sucks the oxygen out of the lung. What? Okay, well what about food? He eats the bodies. Okay, so he's getting food and oxygen from the bodies? Okay, look, I'll give you this one as the most plausible because it's underwater, which is where the plane probably really is. Yeah, I mean, and the next one also could happen. Okay. Oh, okay, I, I think I get this one. Yeah, so aliens came to Earth for the first time, right? And they see this airplane, and they think it's an enemy ship. So they abducted it with the abduction ray, and they took the plane back to their home planet to study it. Yeah, there has been more alien sightings, dude. Yeah. So all they took was a plane, and that's it? Yeah. Uh, okay, well, if aliens are real, I guess maybe this could have happened. The nuts one most likely happened. What the hell is this? So you've seen the movie The Bug's Life, right? Oh, I've my seen God. The movie The Bug's Life, yes. 
So Hopper, right, he takes the ant's food. So the ants make a big fake bird to scare Hopper. The movie's away. weird, like Bug's Life. So Hopper comes back for revenge. He like, give me your food. So then Flick, he hijacks an airplane and he tells Hopper it's a bird and he's all scared. Ah! Yeah, he looks terrified. Junior, that was a movie. Yeah, but ants are real, and this could have been a possible scenario. Okay, but that ant is not. How did a cartoon ant hijack a real plane? Well, ants are so small, they can make it through TSA. TSA is not going to see an ant through the x-ray machine. So then the ant got on the plane, and then he bit the pilot in the eyeball, and while he's like, ah, oh, my eye, Flick flew the plane to Hopper and scared him. Okay, so where's the plane now? It crashed in the Hopper. <laughs> and where is that? <laughs> In the Bugs Life movie, the, the, land, the island, the farm, where, where the hell they were, the field? <laughs> yeah, it's not real, so they weren't anywhere. Okay, then that's what happened. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay, so, you've seen the magic school bus, right? Yeah. Okay, so Miss Frizzle wants to go on a field trip because Arnold has colon cancer, possibly, and they want to go see the, the, the poem <laughs> in his ass. So, Miss Frizzle shoots Malaysia Airlines with a shrink ray, and then they, the whole class goes on a field trip in the plane into Arnold's ass to cure his ass cancer. <laughs> That's so stupid. In it's still in his ass. Well, they cured the cancer by flying the plane into the anal polyp, and then the class swam out of his ass. He's doesn't oh. good drawings, though, if I say that. Because he has a plane in his ass? Oh, no, that was his face. See, look, he's looking at the plane like that's about to go in my ass. Junior, you're insane. The only thing that could possibly have happened is this one, because I think the plane really is underwater. Okay, so if it's underwater, let's go get our goggles and go looking for it. Junior, I don't think you understand how big the ocean is. And besides, this plane is so far underwater, it's probably even deeper than the Titanic. And you saw what happened to those billionaires who tried to go down there. Okay, listen, I can hold my breath for a very long time. I think we can swim. Yeah, we can do that. You can't hold it for long enough, and you don't even know where the plane is. We know it's in the ocean near Malaysia, right? No, it left like it left like twelve hours after it left Malaysia is when it crashed. Right. We, okay, so you get one part of the ocean. You, you, you get Pacific. You get Atlantic. I get. Can you name another ocean? Hold on. Pacific, Atlantic, Antarctic. Joke is right. Indian would have been one. I mean, I it's not in the Indian Ocean. In the Malaysian Ocean. Closer to. There is no Malaysian. Listen, we're not gonna find the goddamn plane. Okay, listen. Wait a minute. Yeah. So you think it's underwater? Yes, it is. Underwater. Right. Oh, I got an idea. Hold on, you guys stay over here. Just a better idea. You're making more drawings? Alright, I got all this stuff. Junior, what the hell is this? What the fuck? So the goldfish tank, Cody, and I bought a little <laughs> miniature version of the Malaysia Airlines plane that went missing, and we're going to put it at the bottom of the fish tank, take a picture, send it to the news, and get our $10 million. Junior, nobody's going to believe that. Well, let me put the plane at the bottom of the fish tank and take a picture, and then you can tell me if it looks believable. Oh man, Cody, look how good that looks. It looks so realistic. And check out this photo I got. Yeah, so believable. I thought so too. I'm gonna send it to the news. Junior, no one's gonna believe this. You just said it was so believable. Yeah, make up your mind, dude. I was being sarcastic. This is not a joking matter, Cody. This is serious business. Junior, you put a model of a missing plane at the bottom of a fish tank. Nothing about this is serious. <laughs> Cody, just shut up and help me decide which picture. Where would you even? I got this regular photo, but I also got this sick selfie. Junior, you can see the fish tank. Yeah, I don't like my nose in it. I'll, I'll probably just send on the regular photo. Junior, I would not send that to the news. Why not? Because it's not believable. What's not believable about the photo? Okay, if this is the bottom of the ocean, how did you get down there? I swam. You swam? Yeah, you swam. Was <laughs> there on? Duh. How do you think people get to space? With spaceships. Yeah, dodge people. Spaceships with aliens. Okay, if this is the bottom of the ocean, why is there so much light? Because of a flash on my iPhone, idiot. And there are goldfish down there too. Yes. No, there's not. Have you ever been to the bottom of the ocean? No, no one has. I have. With this photo, and there are goldfish down there. You didn't go down there. I did. No, no you didn't. No, Goodman's gonna be pissed when she. Of course, that. Okay, so there's just giant tiki heads on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. But no, there's not. Have you been to the bottom of the ocean? No. It's such a trap. I've been down there. Junior, don't send this to the news. It's offensive. How is it offensive? People died. How do you know they're dead? Well, because they've been missing for ten years. Doesn't mean they're dead. They could be on an island somewhere. It's alive, happy. No, I'm pretty sure they're dead. No, no, it's offensive that you think they're dead. There's family members out there that think they're alive, and you're sitting there telling them it's dead. That's offensive. Yeah, the ending, I got no. no, no, everybody thinks. Why did you just see that word a lot? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think they're alive? They're just think they're alive. They are. You think they're safely tucked away up Arnold's ass? <laughs> okay, maybe that one didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, that one. Okay, well, you're I'm sending it to the news, and it doesn't get there. Breaking news! A kid has claimed that he has found the Malaysian Airlines plane resting at the bottom of the ocean. Here's a picture of it now. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm not so sure I believe it. Junior, I'm yeah. so embarrassed to be your friend right now. You're just jealous because you're not getting $10 million because you weren't smart enough to think outside the box and think of this plan. I'm not jealous of anything, Junior. This is just stupid. 
That must be the bank with my money. The bank? Yeah, the bank that's paying me the 10 million. <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> Hello? Hey there, you're the kid that found the Malaysian plane? Yes, I am. You got my money? Yep, we got a check right here for 10 million dollars from the Bank of Malaysia. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. No, 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 hold on. We have to have the plane in hand first before we can give you your money. But the plane is at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, but we just need you to show us about where it is. Okay, if you just pull the map, I can just point at it and take my check. Okay, we'll come on in. Wait, no, 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 no. Quick, 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 come up the pipe. What's going on, dude? The cops are here. Ah! There goes Joseph. Right, kids, so if you show us on a map about where that plane is, we'll give you your money. Okay, pull the map. Wait, what's under the towel? I'm also curious. Uh, it's, uh, uh it's drugs. Drugs? Junior, why would you say that? It's not drugs, it's not. <laughs> so it's not drugs. No, it's, it's, uh, it's two animals. Wait, they're <laughs> animals, right? Yes, Junior, those are animals. Wait, bitch, are animals? Okay, now I'm very curious. I have to see what that is. What, what yeah. the hell is this? Bingo. Uh, Here's Wait, the truth, right, right there. Scam us? No, 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 that's the real actual plane. They're like, it's so small. It's been sitting in water for 10 years. It shrinks after a while. Huh, I guess my wiener does shrink in cold water, so I the plane could shrink that much after 10 years. Oh, my yeah. God. Look at this. Miss Frizzle actually shrank it with her shrink ray to go on Arnie's ass. Okay, now I'm starting to think this is a joke. Oh, no, no, whichever one you believe is the truth. Uh, Wait, why turn on uh -oh. Why? I would believe everything you said if I hadn't already found the box for the plane. Oh, 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 oh shit! Yeah, no money for you. Oh, 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 damn it! Shit! Oh, fuck! Uh, damn it! Oh, I don't know. Where do Where do you think the missing plane is? Oh no, space! Go to space if you want to find it. Um, but yeah, the video was fun. I might make one more video, and that might be it for today, guys. I'm really tired. Plus, I have to eat dinner. Go for a little walk and all that jazz. But yeah. With that said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you on the next one. Peace out. Always a pleasure. See you in the next video after this. Bye bye.